It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and I'm at the Carnival World and Seafood Buffet at the Rio. So the buffet at the Rio Las Vegas has a two-part name because it used to be two buffets. The Carnival World Buffet and the Village Seafood Buffet. At the end of 2015, those two buffets merged into one. The location that was the seafood buffet is now Kiss Mini Golf. And the original buffet location now has an exclusive seafood area that requires an extra payment in order to enter. That's right, there's an upcharge to get the seafood at the Carnival World and Seafood Buffet. Is it worth it? Well, let's see what there is to eat. Of course, we're going to start with the seafood area. And this is the one you have to pay extra for. And you'll get an invisible ink hand stamp, which gives you exclusive access to all the seafood. And that seafood includes baked scallops in the shell, black mussels. There's some green beans there, too. Mahi mahi. Breaded oyster. Oysters Rockefeller, Cajun Crawfish, Clams, those look good, Salmon, Fried Shrimp, it says Fried Shrimp Tempura, but I don't think it's Tempura, let's just call it Fried Shrimp. Asparagus, okra, shrimp scampi, everybody's favorite. Blackened catfish. There's some roasted potatoes. Halibut. Fried calamari. Brussels sprouts. Corn on the cob, paella, and lobster. Now the way it works is you're given a ticket when you purchase the seafood upgrade. It says lobster on it. It's like a slip of paper. And then when you come in here to the seafood area, you get to choose what you want to redeem that ticket for. This is a five with a piece of paper. Five for ticket. You want to buy or you want to want this? So you just choose one, not both. No both. Okay. So you get five of the mini lobsters or one full size lobster tail. The choice is yours. Of course, there's plenty of crab to eat as well. Crab legs. Snow crab legs, I believe. Lots of lemons. These are Jonah crab claws. There's a lot. There is a lot of seafood over here. And there's a whole nother section around the bend. Here's some lobster bisque and spicy clam chowder mussels these are some meaty looking mussels and raw oysters not my thing but go for it if that's what you're into and there's more crab legs over here and more lemons And look at all this shrimp. I mean, if you like shrimp, I mean, there's all this shrimp. Like cocktail sauce, Old Bay seasoning, whatever you need, they've got it right here. And there's seafood salads, octopus salad, seaweed salad, jellyfish salad. tuna poke and some sushi it's kind of amazing if you think about the fact that the sushi is probably the least interesting thing here on this seafood buffet
Here's the lobster tail. You get a whole lobster tail and two claws. They also have warm crab legs. And oysters, halibut, <laughs> salmon, and Jonah crab claws, apparently. They're called and tartar sauce. Of course, drawn butter and lemons. Wow. This is all meat. It's like his hand. The whole hand. All right, before we get carried away with any more seafood, let's check out the rest of the buffet and see what there is to eat. First thing I see is pizza. I mean, I saw rolls, but here's pizza. Looks like veggie pizza, sausage and pepperoni, cheese pizza. And here's mac and cheese. Not that I would eat this on a buffet, but here it is. And roasted vegetables, loaded baked potatoes. Might actually try one of those. And of course, that's not what you want to eat on a buffet. You want to eat the expensive food, maybe fruit. Got to stay healthy somehow. They got plenty of fruit here, big wedges, watermelon, pineapple, honeydew. They got soups, chicken rice soup, clam chowder, and spaghetti. Spaghetti and meatballs. One of my favorite things in the world. Lasagna, looking a little worked over there. Shrimp linguine. And yes, crab legs. These are crab legs in the regular buffet without the upgrade option. You do get crab legs and lemons and limes and shrimp. So you don't have to pay that seafood upgrade price if you don't want to and you just want to eat some shrimp and crab legs, just like any other Vegas buffet. Maybe just eat the fried chicken. This is some good looking fried chicken. And there's fried shrimp here too. So I'm, there, there is seafood outside the restricted seafood zone. But there's so much more on the other side. But there's plenty more still here on this side, like menudo, Spanish rice, and cheese enchiladas. In fact, it looks like they just brought these enchiladas out and they're looking all right. Also got some flour tortillas and taco meat, chicken tamale, and pork tamale, and some refried beans, cheese sauce, and some hard taco shells. And your standard variety of toppings like guacamole, pico de gallo, sour cream, onions and cilantro, cheddar cheese, jalapenos, and salsa. But wait, there's more. There's edamame, kimchi, papaya salad, and sushi. Yep, there's sushi over here too. This is the standard buffet area. California roll, vegetable roll, spicy tuna roll, salmon roll. Probably is fresher. I think probably more people are going through the sushi on this side. So you're probably thinking, whoo, that is a lot of food. Guess it's time to get a drink and get a plate. But there's more. There is more food. Turkey gravy, brown gravy, all for your mashed potatoes. Some Thanksgiving style stuffing. And rotisserie chicken. And carved meats. Prime rib, roast beef strip loin, roast beef top round, and carved roast turkey. And if you want something alcoholic to drink with all that meat, well, there is an all-you-can-drink package. Bottomless beverages, but I don't recommend drinking at a buffet. That's valuable stomach space. Some roasted vegetables, au jus, gravy, rolls. And still more accompaniments for the meat, some sides, red potatoes, some sweet potatoes, corn, and some barbecue ribs. 
They got a pretty sweet setup for salads as well. Now, I'm not one to normally eat a salad at a buffet. In fact, I'm not going to have a salad here. But look at what you can do. First of all, there's a pot of meat, beef, and chicken strips that you can put on your salad. You got all your salad dressings. And a veritable cornucopia of toppings for any style salad you desire. I mean, if I could stay here long enough, I might have a salad. But I got places to go. I got things to eat. I got other things to eat. Still, this is one of the nicest looking salad bar setups I've seen on a buffet in Vegas. You got four types of lettuces to choose from. Choose one or all. And look at this wheel of Parmesan. I mean, this, is, this, is, this is a real a real wheel of parm. Scrape off what you want, like they did in the olden times, at the olden style buffets, when they drank mead at the buffets. Is mead a drink? Maybe it's a meat. Well, look, here's some meat. There's deli meats and olives and cheeses and nuts and dried fruits. I mean, if this is what you're after, they've got it. And all the rolls you can handle. This place has a lot of rolls. And I know what you're thinking. Where's the Asian food? Well, it's right here. They've got noodle soups made to order. Here's the selection of noodles that they'll dunk into a hot broth for you. Made to order. They got pork balls. Fish balls, beef balls, chicken balls. They call them dumplings, but you know they're not dumplings. They also got sliced beef and sliced chicken. And toppings for your soups, including toppings for pho. Here are the soups that they'll make for you. Egg noodle soup, Vietnamese pho, udon noodle soup, rice noodle with tom yum broth, pork miso ramen, vegan noodle soup, and wonton soup. All right, let's take a look at the actual Chinese food that they have in the steam trays. There's fried rice, clams with ginger sauce, orange chicken, Chinese broccoli with oyster sauce, salt and pepper shrimp. These are in the shell, so watch out. Vegetable chow mein, and steamed white rice. Got egg drop soup, oxtail soup, General Tso's tofu. That's what it says, but I don't know about that. Vegetable delight and pork. It says pork. Well, looky here. We got dim sum baskets and there's nothing in it. And there's nothing in that one either. Here we go. This looks like some xiao mai, shu mai. Nothing. Spring rolls. Sesame balls. That's all good stuff. And look, the real good stuff right there. That's the secret seafood area. All right, it's time for another plate. It's been way too long. And I'm going to go back and get some of the premium seafood. So this is the other choice, the mini lobster, something that looks like a mini lobster tail. You get a bunch of these, like five of them. I also got Oysters Rockefeller. Not a big oyster fan, but I mean, Oysters Rockefeller. Crawfish. Clams. Big flat breaded shrimp. All right, here's the mini lobster tail. Maybe I like lobster after all.
Oysters Rockefeller. I hope that sandy grit is the Rockefeller. It's pretty good flavor. I don't like the texture. It didn't have that gritty crunch. I'd love it. All right, this is a baked scallop. Little mini scallops. Pretty good. These are some plump mussels. That's. These are huge. Muscles are so weird. <laughs> what are they? They're delicious. Mm. These are pretty weird looking too. Like what? <laughs> what am I eating? I don't know. All right, I think I need to partake of some of the other offerings here at the Rio World and Seafood Buffet. Yes. Roast beef? That's really good steak. It's like really good. It's soft. Mmm, that's nice and soft too. Very flavorful. Sometimes this meat that's kind of pinky can be too chewy and tough, but this is just as tender as this well done steak. Which is also usually can be too chewy and tender if it's too cooked. That's about right. Yes, thank you very much. This is a great steak. Seriously. This little one's good too. Alright, I had to get another piece of steak because it was so good. 
Well, this one is a little more rare than I usually like it. Like, I don't like it rare at all. <laughs> All right, this is about the most well done part of this. Let's give it a try. This slice is not nearly as good as the other, so your mileage may vary. Of course, got a plate full of crab legs. They just put out a new tray of the hot crab legs. I got two of those. And of course, they had a big pile of the cold ones, which feel kind of cold and clammy compared to the hot ones. So let's try the hot crab. Yes. That's pretty tasty, and I don't even like crab. Sometimes I even thought I had a shellfish allergy. But if I do, it'll be worth it. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's try the cold ones. Just as easy to eat. Very cold. Like, you know, refrigerated cold. There's something quite a bit nicer about the hot ones. And most buffets in Vegas, most buffets only have these cold ones, so come to the Rio if you want the hot crab. Well, you know what they say there's always room for dessert. What I like to say is there's always room for Mexican food for tacos, and enchiladas, and tamales. Oh, and I also like to say there's always room for Chinese food, like orange chicken, and salt and pepper shrimp. And how about a bowl of udon soup? All right, I think it is time for some real dessert. So let's go see what there is sweet to eat. There's ice cream, but more importantly, there's food on sticks. There's pineapple, Rice Krispie treats, and marshmallows all on sticks for dunking in the chocolate fountain. Here's some apple tarts, some creme brulee, milk chocolate fudge, white chocolate lemon fudge, and dark chocolate rum fudge, raspberry chocolate mousse verine, Vanilla Oreo Verine, Tiramisu, and Raspberry Semi-Sweet Chocolate Parfait, Cappuccino Verine, and Yuzu Raspberry White Chocolate Verine. We need to find out what a Verine is. They look amazing. These also look amazing. This is a red velvet cream cheese sandwich. Some kind of injector. Here's cheesecake. Oreo cheesecake, blueberry cheesecake, exotic chocolate tarts, almond cherry Bavarian cake. There's a cherry on top, each one. And these are blueberry pies. Lots of gelato and sugar-free gelato. Got chocolate sugar-free, Elvis peanut butter and jelly, coffee gelato, Cookies and cream, chocolate, and vanilla. Green tea gelato, mango sorbetto, and coconut gelato. Sprinkles, toppings for your gelato. Needs to be wiped up a bit there, but one of my favorite things, bread pudding, looks awesome. And another one of my favorite things, bananas foster. That is a right gorgeous pile of bananas. These are the no sugar added cookies, pistachio chocolate tart pies, all no sugar added. So if you're on a special diet or just watching your figure, you can indulge just like everyone else getting fat. All these desserts are gorgeous. 
I mean, some of them are really look too pretty to eat. Not these coconut macaroons, though. These are one of the ugliest cookies ever. I can't wait to see how these desserts taste. These funky ones, by the way, are peanut butter raspberry sandwiches. All right, here's my plate. I always get a full-size dinner plate for my desserts. They have little tiny plates, but why use the small plates? I want all the desserts. And all these desserts look phenomenal. I don't even remember what they are anymore. This is fudge. Honey or something. I don't know what the flavor is, but it's good. Yeah. So that's it. That's the Rio Carnival World Buffet with the secret VIP seafood area. Of course, you can get in there for uh, you just pay the money. There's plenty of other food on the buffet. But I think you've got to go for the seafood. It's really the best of this buffet. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about the Rio buffet. And be sure to subscribe for more. Because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.